Hello, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time we're taking a look at a whole bunch of Transformers 1 products. Now, you're probably thinking, didn't I already talk about the Deluxe Class Optimus Prime? Yes, I did, but I want to touch up on a few things. First of all, this is actually going to be part of the Studio Series, not the core mainline. Which we are getting as well, but this is actually a Studio Series figure. It is a deluxe class, and some places even have it. I think it was on Amazon Mexico you can order it. Uh, Pre-order it, obviously, but uh, yeah, just wanted to touch up on that. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the actual new figures. Starting with a figure that's, well, actually is not really new. They're just re-releasing the Mask Bumblebee from the Rise of the Beast line. Which, I mean, I'm fine with. I'm kind of used to it at this point. They've done it multiple times in the past. If you look at this and scream, oh, they're being lazy, you're not really used to the practices that they usually do. However, it's Wavemate is the interesting part because we're finally getting the mask version of Optimus Prime. So it's a mask that will be able to transform into the robot. There is a lot of dark blue, but considering that it is the Optimus mask, his helmet usually has a lot of dark blue and silver. So yeah, you just need that red to kind of peek through and just understand exactly what they're trying to go for. Now, what I will say is that the particular design of the Optimus Prime face reminds me of the Rise of the Beast design, so I'm curious if this figure was actually meant to be released for Rise of the Beast, but got discontinued, and now with the new movie, they finally got an excuse to actually bring that back and fully flesh it out. So, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but you look at the specific details, like the kneecaps, the shape of the mouth, I'm sorry, the mouth plate, it just looks like Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime. Anyways, moving right along, we also have these, which is kind of like the Titan Changers. We've seen these before, but there are a couple of new molds with the Optimus Prime and the Bumblebee. The Megatron looks like the same. Starscream definitely looks like the same. I mean, it's got the old Null Rays that I think are based on, was it the Power of the Prime Starscream? I know it's not the same mold, but the design elements are based on that. And then you can see that the kneecaps kind of remind me of, I think it was the, was it the Cyberverse Starscream or the Earthspark one? Either way... It's very familiar, it, it, it's similar stuff, it's just very simple things to transform, but that's not the interesting part for me with this core mainline, it's this. So these are going to be the Prime Changers, and it's kind of like the Warrior Class or Deluxe Class lineup, and they're just bringing this out so that they could bring some sort of mainline essence to the Transformers 1 line. They've done this before with the Rise of the Beast series, they did it with the Air Razor, Mirage, Bumblebee, uh, Optimus, Rhinox, and Optimus Primal. So, yeah, pretty familiar territory, but uh, just with a different name. I do like that Optimus Prime has a bell axe, and you can see the hand, you can see the fingers right there, so it's meant to come out of the palm. I thought that was a cool trick. It is in blue. I know a lot of people don't like it in blue. They prefer it in orange, but, I mean, I'm fine with it. I like that he keeps the gray lower arms, that's some sort of change that they decide to go for with Transformers 1. And, you know, the shape is very boxy. I, th I think the alt mode actually cleans up a little bit better than the Studio Series toy, but I'm still going after the Studio Series one, mainly because it's Studio Series, and I, I don't feel like there's a particular change or reason for me to opt out with this. Now, we also get, or, uh, sorry, <laughs> I almost said Orion Pax, Alpha Trion. And he looks okay, not really the best, but I mean, for an Alpha Trion that's going for something different, I guess it's okay. I do like that the horn at the front of the animal has a dagger that you can pop off, and then the tail is usually the sword, which is a pretty common trait for animalistic Transformers. I like the fact that he's got the cape on the back, I like the new head sculpt, I like the purple, and then this kind of lighter purple color. Uh, along with the light gray, it would be nice to see that mossy green, but I understand why they decide not to. And also, they decide to add foot tilt to this toy. They didn't need to do that, but they decide to anyways, and I'm fine with that. The Optimus doesn't seem to have that, but these are more simplified toys. It's not Studio Series, it's not Legacy, so you're not going to get that same level of engineering. But for what they are, yeah, they're fine. So with that out of the way, what do you guys think? Please comment below, let me know. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun do that, and I'll see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just prime.